Greetings, everyone. Greetings, greetings, greetings. I hope you're enjoying the day wherever you are. Uh, the stresses that uh, the world is feeling right now, the earth, the stresses that are galaxy and our solar system and our earth we are a part of it look at this beautiful sky it's 10 a.m. here and the temperature Direct sun, probably about 85, <coughs> 90. But in the cool where I'm standing, it's about 75. Nice breeze, beautiful sky, trees, mangoes. Leaves are coming on the trees. This tree had no leaves on it about two weeks ago. Well, that you can see from a distance. <coughs> the leaves were there, but they were small. And this is something similar to the subject I'm going to talk about right now. Because sometimes you're given a task and because of the comfort zone, like I said, I'm standing in the, the shade, not direct sunlight, kind of like, ah, man, this, this is tough, man. I, I, I got to think about this if I want to do it or not. But then when you put it off, you know, your head begins to hurt. It begins to make you miserable. When you lay that night, you remember that you have to do it. When you wake up in the morning, you remember you have to do it. And lay down there the next night, you remember you have to do it. Pretty soon, it becomes this daunting nagging that you can't get rid of even when you're doing something else that distract you and this is where I stand <laughs> those tree leaves that were there that couldn't be seen the stresses on the universe that we don't see or well not we don't see that most people don't want to look at 99% of the world don't want to look at the things around them don't want to see it because it seems so daunting so overwhelming I used to And I'm a shout out to the Black Brain Trust. If you guys have never heard of the Black Brain Trust, let's go in to YouTube and type in the Black Brain Trust and look at some of those videos. Um, anyway. We used to talk about the subject of Africa. We still do. And when you look at the world, 
and you know history and you know that power changes and when it begins to change it becomes violent lots of people die but from 19 45 at the end of the war America was the undisputed power on the planet then uh, what they call the Soviet Union rose up to challenge it but the Soviet Union was a creation to give a false challenge Real challenges begin to happen in 1973 in Saudi Arabia, what they call an oil crisis. And uh, America quickly came up with a solution for that. They call it the petrodollar, which many of you know about today. The challenges continue to grow. And they looked down the road and saw China as a challenge. But they looked down the road and saw Africa as a challenge. And when they looked at Africa, fear came in to their minds. Even today, the fear is there. That's why you see Bill Gates is trying to destroy the population of Africa. But every time that he tries, something backfires, as we call it. And I've heard many of them whisper, uh, why is it that we are dying and the African is not dying? But there is no guarantee there are little leaves on the trees in Africa that you have to look very carefully to see. And it's not happening all over Africa. In some places, you can see it more than others. Nigeria. And the east coast of Africa, in Kenya, Tanzania, Ethiopia. On the west coast, little splitterings of, of, of things, you know, but one of the problems that challenges, I should say, that could keep Africa from assuming its place as the power, this place in China in the next 49 years, and that number 49 is significant. Because right now, America was not supposed to be displaced so quickly. But one man who they call black and put in the White House didn't do anything for the people that thought he would do them for. And if he had done things for black people in America, America would have had another 49 years. If they had allowed black men in America to rise up and run the place, they would have had another 49 years, but the fear, see? And the problem is that 
black men would, would have protected America. They would have against all enemies. They have and they did in every war since the so-called birth of America, black men in America have stood up and protected America. But we're not talking about America though, we're talking about Africa. Those little leaves that you couldn't see on this tree a few weeks ago, in time could become the leaves of the sea in Africa. It would be like the whole tree, the whole African continent would spring like this tree. You will see it. And you will say, wow, beautiful. Pride. And joy will come into the African heart. But that comfort. See, what happened is that the British, French, and whatever other colonial power was in Africa, they created a criminal class. And that criminal class sold their brothers to another brother. Uh, like <laughs> the, the Israelites like to call the man called Esau. <laughs> That's another story. But his ships are the one that collected us. And today, He's still in Africa. As a matter of fact, he tried to get a seat at the board of directors in the African Union. And at first, when the money flowed, they paid him. They, 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 they accepted. Then somebody changed their mind. I don't know. Uh, not that I don't know, but yeah. We won't deal with that subject today. But they created a criminal class. And that criminal class is still in power in Africa today. And what has happened, what has begun to happen, or what continues to happen is that there is a training ground that has been created by the African himself to perpetuate that. In every office that you go into in Africa, you will find that there's a little man, the man at the bottom. It could be, he just started yesterday in that office. And you go in there and say, how can I, um, get my birth certificate and he'll say to you if you give me 5,000 shillings or $500 or 50 CDs or a thousand naira I can get it for you today otherwise just fill out the form and come back two weeks. And when you go back two weeks, if you decide to fill out the form, go back two weeks, it's still not ready. But he's sitting around the office doing nothing, chatting with his friend. Now the guy above him now, he charges a little bit more to get the job done. Not, it doesn't have to be in the office. It could be the ports. In the ports, you go into the port, 
to bring your you your your Ghanaian or Gambian or Nigerian or African from somewhere some some state in Africa. You go abroad and work your butt off in America and England and Germany, send home a container, and then when you get your container gets to your state, this little man, he's not seeing that you're doing good for your community and trying to build your state, his state. You go in abroad, He's got a job because you are sending containers in. He's not seeing it that way. He just see it. Wow, he's abroad. He's got some money, and I want some of it. So he wants to charge you to get your container in. You know what? You give me a thousand CDs, and you won't even have to pay the taxes to the government that's going to pay for medication and schools and roads for other poor Ghanaians or Gambians or Nigerians. He doesn't care about that. That is going to help build this country. And 20, 30 years from now, 90% of the people will be happy proud that you know what my son went abroad and came back with a business and now his business is thriving we are exporting stuff to the, the same Germany he came from that he was sending stuff from he's exporting back to Germany now bringing in but these criminals that are being bred could be even in the police department you're driving down the road police stop you Every day. Just be, he just began work yesterday. And he's taking. The Arvis Gambian made. 400, 300 dollars a day. And he wants to take your 300 dollars. 50 dollars. Some make 100 dollars a day. And this policeman is taking 50 of it. Doesn't care about whether or not you can feed yourself and your family. But as he moves up in his department, all of them, whether it's policemen, immigration, by the time he gets to the pot, top, he's not taking 50 dollars or 10 CDs or 1,000 naira anymore. He's taking millions. And in some cases, billions. Just look at Nigeria, look at Ghana, look at even Gambia. Billions by the time they get to the top. This is the problem with Africa. That these leaves right here, even though you're seeing them now, they can fall off and that tree will become dry again without leaves. And the power that Africa was supposed to become withers and dies. And another power, another, another country comes in and takes the wealth of Africa. The Arabs did it. The Romans did it. The Greeks did it. The Europeans all together did it. Portugal, Spain, Germany, France, England. They all throughout the last 2,000 years have taken the wealth of Africa because of the same little minded people. I made a video of it some time ago. I said, 
I've met Africans that can't speak, can't write their own name and their own language. They can write it in Arabic. They speak English but can't write it in English either. Speak French but can't speak it, write it in French either. But they can write it in Arabic. continent enslaved by a man who is not even on this continent. We talk about the Europeans, but nobody talks about this. So it can happen again. I was listening the other day to a Muslim who says, you know, we are going to rise up. And he gave a specific time to, I'm not going to give that time to we are going to rise up. And we're going to come to your land and you're going to pay Sharia. And if you don't pay Sharia, we're going to destroy your land. That's what I knew it was time to make this video. And I shouldn't put it off anymore. Africa. Some of you are going to hate this video and me for saying what I'm saying. But I'm asking you for the sake of your children and my children too. Because no matter where I am, I'm going to be treated as an African. No matter where I am, I'm going to be treated as an African. And the proof that we have, go back and watch some videos of what happened in Ukraine to the Africans in Ukraine. Poland. They have, it's happening in France, and Germany, everywhere. America. America is out of the, out of the news now because of the so-called war. But they're still killing black people see you as a n-word no matter where you are you have to get rid of this small thinking and start working as one here yeah? you see how the European works they all have different agendas, but when, if, if, look at Russia, they all jump Russia now, trying to get Russia back in line, trying to get Russia to go against China. That's what this war is about. They forgot that they stripped Russia of everything that it had after the so-called Soviet Union disintegrated. That's the past. We gotta move forward. We want you in, on our side in this war against China. They're trying to get Africa on their side in this war to bring Russia in line. I warned you. Don't pick up arms against either side. Build your economy right now. You got 12 years. 12 years. You hear what I'm telling you? 12 years. I didn't want to say it, but I'm going to say it. 12 years. Right, I hope you don't see this as an irritation, a thorn in your side, and uh, me trying to make you miserable. This is a brother who is seeing that you can do things better. You got a business, 
and I say, man, you can make more, you can you can improve your products and meet make more customers. That's what I'm trying to do. Improve your product, expand your business, and your customer base. You don't have to advertise. Word of mouth will take your good products anywhere. Good products will survive. Word of mouth will take your good products everywhere. People will come to you asking you, begging you for your good products. Word of mouth don't help bad products. They have to advertise. They have to do it so much advertising that it stays in your brain, you know. Like cereal, cereal and sugar. Cereal filled with sugar kills you. But advertising sells cereal. Anyway, hope you're enjoying your day wherever you are. Listen to this and do what you're supposed to do. Peace.